Why is this such an important message for you to be a part of? I think it's a very important message to, uh, for any of us that have suffered as children with um, ADG and dyslexia to um, you know, come out into the open and to say um, so much of it around and you, you don't have to be disabled by a disability and question is it really a disability or is it a gift that you know people who think differently have got so what we need to do within our education system is to give kids the tools to learn in a way that they understand and by giving you know wonderful support through education and through our medical help as you know we know the wonderful Professor Copperfitz does um, that, that we will give our kids the, you know, the confidence to believe in themselves because I think that that's what really happens in a child's life when um, they are diagnosed with one of these disses is that they sometimes feel that they are marginalized and that they, they're in a corner and they don't know what to do. They see the world in a very different way. And How do you do it with kids to describe to them their, the differences? Um, well, I, I, um, I'm not very good on the titles that we give kids with, um, with their learning differences. Um, I think that the word dyslexia and uh, dyspraxia and attention deficit and disorder are negatives and uh, I'll be speaking to the professor about that as we go along. I think that especially since the 80s when, you know, to dis is to disrespect, that we've got to start dissing the dyslexia. <laughs> How do you teach your kids? How did you teach your kids about people with differences? Well, what, everybody is different. I mean, I teach my kids that we're all different, and yet we're all the same. We're all human beings, and we're all needing to get along. And to, you know, being normal, being normal is not something to necessarily aspire to. Fitting in is important, but to celebrate your gifts is definitely what we should be aspire to being. And ev everyone has a gift. We don't come into the world without a gift. I really believe that we're all, you know, we're, we're here laden with gifts and the trick of life, the journey of life rather, is to start to unlock, okay, what have you got to give the world? And to give the world, because when you start thinking outside of yourself and not going into the, you know, as you can sometimes do when you're browbeaten as a child, the poor little me, when you start to think, you know, well, it's not poor little me, you know, because look, we're, we're all in this together, we all share this planet, and we all have to, like, make our contributions. So I think then giving, you know, giving kids that sort of, like, sense of themselves is important, that they count and they can definitely give things because they, they have them. That's got to be unlocked through education. And so, and so going to your question, uh, uh, see I don't stay on task very well. That's okay, you have a lot of passion. <laughs> uh, that, uh, you know, what, what was parents we give to our kids? That sense of themselves, that sense of themselves. You know, you know, you've been given a label that um, you have dyslexia maybe, or you have attention deficit disorder, but you're not attention deficit disorder. You are not just dyslexia. You're not. You have it, but you're not it. That's the strongest message that I think uh, I could give my kids and members of the family and uh, certainly to myself.